Number 16, 1950, the Rosewood Diamond MS68 condition with full bands. Rich swaths of autumnal hues paint the borders on each side of this incredible superb gem. The center remains snow white and brilliant, showcasing essential pristine surfaces. It was sold for $1,560. Number 15, 1977 S. Lincoln Sentin PR 70 Deep Cameo Condition, exquisite collectible item with immaculate surface preservation and striking definition. A 1977 S. Lincoln Sentin PR 70 Deep Cameo Condition is indeed considered a rare. PR 70 Deep Cameo is the highest grade on the Sheldon numerical scale for grading coins. As a deep cameo designation indicates a coin with exceptionally frosted details and deeply mirrored fields, creating a strong contrast between the design elements and the background. This specimen was sold for $1406.25 with buyer's fee. Number 14. This is 1981 S. Susan B. Anthony Dollar in PR70 deep cameo condition. As struck with brilliant, sharply contrasted surfaces, exquisite gem for modern dollar coins collectors. It ended up selling for twelve hundred and seventy-three dollars and five cents. Number thirteen here is nineteen fifty-six the Jefferson Nickel in MS sixty-six plus condition with full steps. The central steps definition is excellent, and this single characteristic distinguishes. The current coin was plethora of certified 1956D nickels. Full steps coins are universally scarce and they are rare at the premium gem level. This piece displays satiny lilac grey and bluish luster with few contact marks. Sold on August 17, 2023 for $2640. Number 12. This is 1990 D. Kennedy of Dollar in MS67 condition. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, the 1990 D. Kennedy of Dollar has one of the higher mintage for the series. Usually, Kennedy of Dollars with mintage of 20 million or higher are considered really common. However, in gem condition, the 1990 D. Kennedy of Dollars has proved to be scarcer than many of issues in the series. In MS67 condition, less than a 20 are certified by a service, with none being numerically finer. This elusive 50 cent piece ended up selling for $2233. Number 11, here is 1987 Lincoln Cent in MS69 red condition. MS69 stands for Mint State 69, which is a grade on the Sheldon numerical scale used to evaluate the condition of the coin. A coin with an MS69 grade is close to perfect, showing only very minor imperfections under magnification. To determine the specific value of your 1987 Lincoln cent, you could consult reputable coin price guides or online marketplaces to see what similar coins are selling for. This specimen was sold for $4,050 with buyer's fee. Number 10, moving on with his 1964 Kennedy of Dollar in PR67 deep cameo condition. Popular accented hair variety. The accented hair variety refers to the initial appearance of the President Kennedy's hair on these early proof coins. The engraver Gilroy Roberts, who designed the coin's portrait, had added some extra detail and definition to Kennedy's hair, particularly around the forehead and the hairline. This gave the hair a slightly bolder and more textured appearance, however, after a very short time, it was decided that the hair detail was too pronounced and gave President Kennedy an appearance that some considered unflattering or less accurate. These dyes were subsequently modified to reduce the hair detail, resulting in a smoother and more uniform appearance. Accented hair specimens are truly scarce. This one was sold for $4,300. Number 9, 1961 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS64 plus condition with full steps, exceptionally well struck for the 1960s Jefferson Nickel. This important near gem also offers bright satin luster. For most dates in the Jefferson Nickel series, the pursuit of perfection boils down in many instances to the number of steps visible on the porch of Monticello on the reverse. 
and not the numeric grade. Indeed, many dates may have listing of MS67 or other lofty grades, but perhaps the finest certified coin with FS details is just MS64. Many dates, particularly in 1950s and early and mid 1960s, are as flat as proverbial pancake in that area. To appreciate how elusive the 1961 D. Jefferson nickel is with full steps, just take a look at the population data of PCGS. This gem was sold for $4,800. Number 8. This is 1990 NOS Lincoln Cent in PR68 deep cameo condition. The 1990 NOS Lincoln Cent is indeed a rare and highly sought after variety among coin collectors. The NOS variety refers to a situation where the coin was struck at the San Francisco mint, but the mint mark S was omitted from the coin's design. This mistake occurred on a small number of proof coins produced in 1990 at the San Francisco Mint. The absence of mint mark was not intentional and was a result of minting error. It was sold for $4,600. Number 7 here is 1951 Dirus Watam in MS68 condition with full bands. Splendid olive gold, reddish orange iridescence yields to the brilliance in only few isolated areas. Highly lustrous with fulsome mint frost, this pristine looking superb gem really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. It was sold for $4,600 as well. Number 6, 1919 Walking Liberty of Dollar in MS64 condition, CEC proven early walker, scarce date with pretty luster and attractive rim toning. This wonderful gem was sold for $5,250. Number 5, another highly sought after error variety, 1983 proof was what time with no S mint mark, graded as PR70 deep cameo by PCGS. The famous proof issue dime from the San Francisco mint missing the mint mark. Very tough to locate in perfect 70 grade. It was sold for $5,500. Number 4. This is 1941 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS68 condition with full steps. As perfect as specialists could hope to find with radiant mint luster throughout and towering stripe for this issue, the super gem boasts incredible eye appeal with delicate iridescent toning of violet and rose when closely examined. The surfaces are the key factor here, nudging close to absolute perfection with just a few minute signs of handling. It was sold for $11,400. Number 3, 1984 Lincoln Cent was double diverse, graded in mint state 68 plus, read by PCGS, CEC proof and superb gem. According to PCGS, the 1984 double die of verse Lincoln Cent is considered a major variety in the Lincoln Cent series, as the doubling can be easily seen with naked eye. The variety was discovered in the same year in which the coins were struck. There are possibly several thousand examples in existence in all grades combined. This one was sold for $11,812.50 with buyer's fee. Number 2, 1913 S. Lincoln Cent in MS66 red condition. According to Heritage, full red 1913 S. Lincoln Cents reside in MS63 to MS65 numeric range, with lower grade pieces typically falling into brown or red brown categories. Similarly, higher grade red coins are rare. Satin and copper orange luster adorns carbon free surfaces with no distracting abrasions. In keeping with the reputation of 1913S, this coin exhibits a moderate dye erosion in the margins, although the main design elements remain clear. It was sold for $21,610.80. Number 1, and the most expensive lot of the present episode, 1944 Steel Penny, highly sought after and valuable error coin. 
This is a lovely example of the 1944 dated counterpart to the 1943 copper penny error made famous by Henry Ford. Smartly impressed with razor sharp striking detail to the both sides. The surfaces are predominantly bright silver in appearance with a satiny texture. The 1944 steel sand is highly notable and valuable coin in American numismatics due to its unique composition and rarity. In 1943, during World War II, the US Mint switched from using copper for Lincoln sands to a zinc coated steel composition to conserve copper for war effort. However, in 1944, copper was reintroduced. For sand production. The 1944 steel sand therefore represents a transitional error. A small number of sands were struck in steel planchets intended for previous year's coins, resulting in coins with a composition that was incorrect for the date. These coins are generally considered to be mint errors, as they were not intentionally struck in steel. This specimen was graded in Mint 62 by PCGS and it ended up selling for $45,600. Thanks for watching this video. Your likes and comments are highly appreciated. Do not forget to hit subscribe button below and have a nice day.